You ready? Yeah. Real rock and roller thought she'd go when the Gagosi game. Black Ava go to toast mimosas with my social friends. Noble Drew I league in 13 without the Moorish feds. Who would ever think God would speak through a mortal's hands, a mortal mind? Sway in leather valleys like it's 85. Cold crush brother, no I never had a valentine. Madman, earth, wind and fire, no gap band. That's it. Wisdom from a witch doctor Whispered in my ear the ingredients to conquer Then he shed a tear burning benzoin resin Squirting urine at my adversary's dirty nail On my fiddle finger as it flail Drag my foot. I'm from Crown Heights, I'm from Kingsboro Projects uh, On the corner of Bergen and Rochester Building 154, apartment 4B What's the dude who wrote Charlotte's Web? He wrote an essay one time, right? He said, um, New York is constantly and always in a state of, uh changeless change, you know what I mean? So like, the thing about New York that's ill, everybody thinks like, they come here and they do things first. Really, it's really the same shit has always happened in New York over and over again. It's just different cultures, but it's, it's always the same thing. For instance, you look at the rap music, you know what I'm saying? Like, the sound we have now, they say, oh, we sound 90s, but no, we don't sound 90s, we just sound New York. Uh, New York has influenced me in a way like, I just see everything. Like, I cross the street one way and it's like nothing but yeshiva Jews everywhere I look. I might cross the block another way and it's nothing but Jamaicans and dollar vans and bumble clot and roster music. Or you come to my hood and it's like best style, just hood niggas around everywhere you look. So it's like everywhere you go is different pockets of culture and life and you can soak up so much and see so much in the eight block radius. So artistically, I think it just makes you very versatile. So I think that's kind of what Brooklyn and New York as a whole has done for me. I chose to Tell the devil's advocate in the room to go to hell. That's the name of the passage. A self-appointed devil's advocate lurks in every meeting and at the moment a decision is about to be finalized, says with a furrowed brow, let me be the devil's advocate. They always take the exact opposite and argue ad nauseum. That person is the instigator of the group and analysis paralysis. That smothers and suffocates any original idea, all in the name of careful and conservative thinking. Any creative idea is in danger with the devil's advocate in the room. Beware. It's George Lois, who actually is the dude that they based the show Mad Men off, the ad executive, legendary dude in the ad agency, ad business and shit. But he wrote a book, Damn Good Advice for People with Talent, How to Unleash Your Creative Potential by America's Master Communicator. As an artist, as an MC, as a, a musician, you know, more, more so, I think, some, to speak to your point about my EP, I think I kind of wrote that with the devil's advocate mind state, like kind of like worried about what the reaction would be to the art before I created it. And uh, this record specifically, I decided that I wasn't going to do that, so I was going to tell the devil's advocate to go to hell. I, I didn't really look at it from a perspective of thinking of what I was doing while I was doing it. I kind of just wanted to do it, and when it was done, I'd know. It wasn't really about the next project being like a fix or anything. Just something you learn from and you move on and you say to yourself like creatively or artistically like I'm just gonna put more of myself and more of really what I wanna say into my music. I'm not gonna feel like forced to rap about bullshit. I just felt like I looked, I think just me getting a deal at the time and doing a record and shit, I just was like, well how do Everybody else do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, it sounds like everybody else not saying shit, so maybe I should try my best not to say shit. But so it just left me between a rock and a hard place, because I think my music is also very personal, and it's always like about what's going on in my life. And like, if I don't have room to say shit, I don't know really know what to say. It's not necessarily like I read all these profound books and shit. I mean, I, I do read shit that I guess could be considered profound, but I, I read Alan Moore, the comic writer, graphic novel and shit. So like, it just depends on like uh, pr perspective and how you interpret shit. The what, the whys, you know what I mean? I, I think like great authors, they kind of give you the whys, you know what I mean? To feelings, to emotions, they analyze different emotions. It's not like, this is my mad song. It's like, why are you sad? Why are you angry? And that's kind of what I wanted to get into on this record. Ha <laughs> ha